So, look, I mean, I think as having been an analyst and as you guys endeavor upon your careers, I think day one, everyone wants to work on a deal. And that most people, you know, everyone wants to be staffed on a live deal and it's really exciting, et cetera. But I think it's important to understand that there are certain building blocks to, you know, there's certain things that you need to learn and understand before you're immediately thrown into the deep end, which by the way, you will be <laughs> in the most undesired uh, situations. We can talk about that uh, at, a, at another point, but you know, you got to understand, you know, how do as, as literally as simple as how do you pop open PowerPoint? How do you put together a deck? How do you do all those things? Because when you're in a live situation, you're working with clients and you know, the clock is on, you got to be on your A game. You know, I think secondly, over time, it's never too young to start establishing relationships with clients, right? At the most junior level, you're, not, you're, you're probably not going to talk to the CEO, CFO, but you most certainly are going to get exposure to varying levels of, se of seniority across your clients. And I think it's, it's never, and it's really important to, to build those relationships because over time, uh, you know, those individuals will become per perhaps CEO, CFOs, and more senior. So I think the client relationship, understanding the analytics, um, you know, and, and coming back to my first point, you want to work on live situations. I mean, at the end of the day, that's kind of probably why folks sign up for the job, right? Is because you want to work on something exciting. You want to work on something that's revolutionary towards an industry, a, uh, a particular company, et cetera. Um, so I'll pause there, but those are the key. I think those are the key. Those are the key things uh, that you should be looking to focus on.